All right, guys, back on the job. Um, so back at the Willard lot, I'm in the 190 excavator, John Deere. And we finally, we're back after Memorial Day weekend. And I uh, got to finish backfilling the uh, line when we did our inspection and everything. But before I finish backfilling the rest of this, I wanted to show you uh, what they made the, the developer guy here use for this particular house. Uh, because I think I made another video on how I, I couldn't believe the concrete guys when they did the foundation. You know, they'll usually put a, uh, a piece of pipe through the wall you know in the forms so um one for the water line to go through and the other one for the sewer line just makes it easier so we don't have to uh you know chisel through the foundation or cut through whatever well this guy he did he somebody did something i don't know what happened well he ended up putting the hole for the sewer real high like up where the grade of the ground is here and um i guess instead of uh the the developer cut just making a, a hole lower in there and patching that i don't know he he this is what he wanted to do he wanted to uh make it work from here all the way to the road it's a 140 foot long stretch so we had the transit and everything out taking shots and we knew how much you know what percent uh you know setting the pipe at proper pitch and all that for the for everything to flow and um he put it all through but the first i don't know one two the first three lengths it, it, it's it's not quite 42 inches because you got to have it at least 42 inches deep uh the sewer pipe for the code and the first one, two, yeah, it was about the first three lengths here, as you can see. They were, you know, it, it, it's like a foot and a half, maybe two feet over here. And he had regular pipe, and I had said, I'm like, because even though when we backfill, you know, I'm going to bring some fill in here, and we're going to bring the grade up. And we told, he told the inspector that, but they don't. You know some of them you know they don't know for sure what you're you could tell them what you're gonna do but they you know some of them you know they they either want to see it the hole that deep right there and then or you you know you got to do something else to make it work and they they wanted him to get this this uh i never saw it being used but they make this pipe here it's six inch pipe but it's heavy duty thick wall pipe because the problem is is for frost in the winter time they don't want the pipe or anything inside freezing and all that with the regular sdr 35 you can see we got the whole pipe over there we're gonna have to pull it apart with the machine but uh yeah this stuff is real expensive and then they didn't even have these 45s they had to order them and get them a couple days later and the guy said at the place they hardly sell any of this and they only sell it in 20 foot lengths uh, it was crazy it, it, it ended up being like a two three thousand dollars more just because of that um, here's the regular stuff because we're going to try to salvage this to use it on the other job that we got to do some sewer work we're just going to I'm going to just put a strap you know maybe put Put the blade down on one end and then put the strap around it and pull it with the machine and try to pull them apart but uh yeah all this was fine you know i started back going but all this was fine up until over here but yeah i haven't seen this pipe before and uh that's what made that's what they made them get matter of fact I want to sh I wanted to show you a piece of it over here how thick it is <clears throat> so yeah here's a piece of it this stuff's like hardcore here's a cap 
in it. But let's see here. Sorry about that. So yeah. Six inch pipe, but you can see how thick this this is. That's the bell end. There's the spigot end. But yeah, you could see. <laughs> that was crazy having to shave that down. Because you know, when you... If you have to make a cut and then you, you know, you have to put them together into the other end of the pipe, you got to shave this down. You got to shave it down all the way around um, to get it in the other piece. And yeah, it it was a pain. But yeah, so I wanted to make a quick video showing you that. Um, yeah, that's crazy. He had to he had to buy that stuff. Uh, real expensive per length. 20 foot length um, but yeah so yeah here's a good shot here's all the equipment together I usually don't see them all together like this too often because I always have them on different jobs say I'm grading on one job and digging on another job but got the Komatsu mini excavator John Deere dozer John Deere excavator it's a hot one today But yeah. Just wanted to make a little video and showing you guys that. What they that's what so that's what they make you do if you're not down to at least 42 inches deep for the fr for frost line is they make you put in this heavy duty sewer pipe. That's really thick walled pipe. Look how big. Massive. And it looks like that's just a fern fern co six inch to the I guess four inch fern co. Um yeah. There's the star of the show. John Deere 190. I put the excavation bucket back on so I can backfill faster rather than the trench bucket. Well, there's my baby. Oh yeah. All right guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I got to spread topsoil here. This is the neighbor's job I got while I was here. They're going to get some loads. We're just going around picking up the last of some weeds and clipping some stuff sticking up out of the ground here. And uh, then we're going to spread some topsoil here too. I'll make another video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on another one.